Richard, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. It's a pleasure. If you could just give us a word or two about an introduction to the company. Yep. So Strongbow was restructured in 2015, and the restructuring involved forming an, a new alliance with Cisco Gold Royalties. And Cisco has uh, room within its mandate to look at base metal opportunities and other metals. And the idea behind Strongbow was to create a new strategic metals company uh, with an initial focus on tin and tungsten opportunities. In March 2016, we acquired the royalties on the Mactung and Kantung deposits in northern Canada. And in July last year, we finalised the acquisition of the South Crofty tin mine in Cornwall. So tell us a bit more about that tin mine. Why is it an attractive asset for, for you? Well, it, I think number one, it's a world-class deposit. It operated for almost 400 years. Uh, it shut down in 1998 after the tin price collapsed in 1985. So it managed to operate in a low price environment for 13 years before it finally closed. But clearly there's a potential for a lot more resources to be found there. Uh, when we came across the opportunity, um, it had been funded through the last, the, uh, the last decade by Galena Asset Management um, and also in a joint venture with Celeste Copper. And they'd spent uh, close to £30 million on the project, developing a decline, uh, drilling off a new near surface, polymetallic resource, applying for a new mining permit, securing the surface rights to build a new process plant. And unfortunately, uh, when they got the new mining permit granted in 2013, it was in a deep bear market. And unfortunately, the project went into administration at that point, and we became the beneficiaries of all that hard work. So what we have today is a great project with, with high-grade tin resource, uh, but it's got a mine permit that's valid until 2071. Uh, we've also got planning permission to build a new process plant in a community that's very supportive of getting the mine back into production. Okay. And so look, looking forward to 2017, what, what are the key milestones that you're looking to achieve for that project? Well, currently the mine is flooded, and so we're in the process of undertaking some water treatment trials to demonstrate to the Environment Agency that we can pump, treat and discharge clean water into the environment. Uh, that will allow us to dewater the mine. Uh, we'll complete those trials by the end of this month and then we'll start the application process for a full discharge permit which we hope to achieve by June this year. At the same time we're currently working on a preliminary economic assessment and we hope to publish the results of that study within the next two or three weeks. Uh, so that will be a critical milestone for us uh, that would demonstrate hopefully the uh, economic potential and feasibility of the project. And we also look to, to do some drilling this year to test some new targets to validate and demonstrate the potential for additions to the existing resource. And currently you're a Canadian. Toronto listed company but I think you have ambitions to, to move on to AIM at some point you just talk us through what your plans are. Yeah I think once we've got the PEA um, the economic assessment that we can publish uh, plus the water discharge permit I think it makes sense to look at an AIM listing uh, the project being in the UK would I'm sure benefit from UK retail investment uh, that would that clearly shows a willingness to support new mining ventures. Uh, Cornwall has got a long history of mining so people there are familiar with the benefits of mining and I think there's been a bit of a sea change um, attitude towards mining developments in the UK. That's been demonstrated by Wolf Minerals uh, building the new Hemmerden or Drakeland, Drakeland's uh, tungsten mine, uh, the success that Sirius Minerals is having with the North York Potash project, and also Dalradian Resources' uh, success with the Corriganalt Gold project in Northern Ireland. Well, very good. It sounds like. Uh very busy 2017 and uh, look forward to a potential new listing later on in the year. Thanks very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.